Well, hello guys. And here I am back at home in bed. And what is this all about, you may be thinking? Well, for the last, I'd say three, four months now, a lot of you guys in the comments have suggested that, you know, I'm always seems to be ill. Um, I've one thing after the other. And last night was probably one of the worst nights I've had, to be honest with you. Um, 11 o'clock last night, I went to sleep, absolutely fine. Woke up at quarter past 12 in excruciating pain, a hole in my body, aches and pains. Like, I would say the only time I've ever felt like that is when I've had really bad food poisoning. I managed to stick it out to about four o'clock in the morning and then this morning I had to ring an ambulance. I was so bad. Um, it actually re resorted me to tears and that takes a lot for me. Um, so yeah, been in hospital guys this morning. Got out about four o'clock this afternoon. Um, done blood tests, um, chest scan, etc. Took loads of bloods from about four different areas. Um, and I've got to go back there next Monday to be sort of have a chat with them and see what they find. They're just going to check for everything really, but yeah, might be a, maybe a virus. It could be, I don't know. I don't know what it is really guys, but yeah, I haven't felt myself for quite a while now. Um, so <clears throat> I'm here in bed and um, fortunately I've got a really good apprentice who's managed to do a bit of footage today show you around the workshop just so you've got a video um so yeah really really sorry about that guys but um i'm gonna hand you over to isaac now and um i will keep you informed in the next video as to how i am so i'm not sure if uh, lee's shown you yet but just got this um dolomite sprint head here this one's actually quite interesting it's got the the rocker set up and it's also got shims on one side on the i think on the exhaust side and then buckets and shims on the inlet side so it's a bit of a funky head but yeah so you can see i've, I've vapor blasted that one we've got this exhaust guide here uh when i took the springs out the top of the guide had snapped off you can see you've got the old guide there that's where it's snapped. So John's ordered a, a uh, replacement for that. So hopefully we can get that in. Cut the seat on that one. We'll vacuum test the rest of them. Inlet sand exhaust. And see if we need to cut the seats anywhere else. Or f we'll probably start by refacing the valves. Unless um, the seats are particularly bad. Which I'm suspecting they might be. You can see there's quite a lot of pitting on that one there but yeah it's a interesting head this is another head i've been doing in the last week or so we've actually got two heads this one's cracked somewhere it's a a golf head i'm not sure if it's a gti it's an old, it's a late 80s golf head and the customer originally wanted some porting done i think lee did mention this actually but being that it's um, a turboed engine Lee sort of uh, spoke to the customer and they've decided now they're not gonna he's not gonna bother with the port in as you can see there's the ports on the uh, replacement head they ain't, they're not too different on the old head so that I don't think it had an extensive amount of porting anyway but yeah, so I've got that one in bits. Cut the seats on, on the inlets and exhaust, actually, on this one. And I've also I ended up having to sleeve the exhaust guides. So they had quite a lot of wear. The inlets are quite good. They didn't need it doing. They're, they're, um, see, there, there's not really any play in those. And then here we've got the Rover P4 six cylinder pistons i took the rings off of these this morning we had this one with the you see here don't know if you remember that one was um something had gone down the bore 
and pinched this, the oil scraper ring into the um, ring groove. So I've had to f sort of fettle that and that should be all right to go again. Um, but yeah, so now we can get we can get the new rings on those pistons. I'll do that probably um, this afternoon. And yeah, hopefully we can get that one back together. I think we've got to deglaze the bores. Um, so we'll have to get that block on the hone. And then here we've got the mini head. Now, as Lee would say, it's an absolute triffid of a setup. Um, but this one's got, it actually dropped an, exa uh, yeah, an exhaust seat. So John's got us a replacement seat. And at some point this week, I suspect he'll um, cut the, uh, re-bore that, bore it out for the new seat. Then we'll cut the seats and um, hopefully that one will be good to go again. After we've sort of gone back through this interesting setup and put it all back together. Other than that, we've got a couple of heads. We've got a few issues today from local garages with uh, glow plugs. We've had two heads come in. This is one of them. It's a Iveco 2.3 diesel. So we've had a few glow plugs all stuck in there. I think John's managed to get them out, but now he's just trying to get these um, exhaust manifold nuts off. You know, they can be a bit, a bit difficult to get off sometimes once they've got hot and sort of rusted up like they have but yeah so uh, we just got to get the exhaust manifold off and then i think it's just going to be a skim we might have to take the valves out it might be all right but yeah so yeah sort of a few cylinder heads in today and then we've got the ongoing rover and those other couple of heads that i've been working on i think lee's already shown this definitely has in the second channel but look at that S50. That is a beautiful engine now. And that's all done. So I think Lee had some, some fun with the Vanos unit. Setting that up. But yeah, it all seems to be all right now. And he's turned it over and done compression tests. And it's all, you know, seeming quite good. And he's got that lovely nuke performance fuel rail on there. So I think... This afternoon, I'm going to carry on with this golf head. Uh, just, just got to wait for the for John to go and get me some valve stem seals. Um, and once he's got those, I'll, I'll crack on with that. So the head is all clean now, and I'm just going to put the stem seals on. So get the stem seal, and then I'll f over here I'll find a socket that fits over. So I've got this little bar. Put a socket on it and that fits nicely over the stem seal so that just allows us to drive it on there so we just place that over the top of the guide and you hear the note change when it hits the bottom and that's how you know it's on there so there we go guys i've just managed to get myself downstairs to make a cup of tea but um, I'm sorry for all the doom and gloom guys, but um, you know that um, I just want to share everything with you guys, let you know how I am, etc. Um, I'm certainly not going to be in work tomorrow. My wife has demanded whether I feel better enough or not to rest, which is probably a good idea to be honest. Um, so yeah, it's just a case of waiting now really to see um, to see what's exactly the matter. They did take bug tests when I was there today, but they couldn't see anything. Chest X-ray looked all right. Everything sort of seems okay, really. So it's just a case of trying to eliminate things, do more blood tests, find out exactly what's um, why I keep feeling like this. Um, so yeah, but thank you very much to Isaac for showing you around the workshop today and what he's got going on. And um, I'm hoping, guys, I will see you maybe back to normal Wednesday. Can't promise, but maybe. Have a good evening. Cheers, guys.